Blessings, shalom, peace, prosperity unto you. Uh, this is Apostle Bernard Bolton. I'm bringing you the prophetic word for the month of November 2017. And I know I'm, uh, I know I'm a few days, uh, I don't want to use the word late because I'm, I'm not late. Uh, I, but my normal procedure is to release these words on the first day of the month. And, uh, but I heard the Lord say, wait until the fifth, wait until the fifth day of the month to release this word. And so we was obedient to do as the Lord suggested. It didn't dawn on us that, uh, that today, the fifth day is actually the day where, uh, daylight saving time end and we get back the hour in the United States. Now I know that there are many persons or other nations that will watch this, but uh, we get back the hour that we normally lose during the spring, and so even in that, I I, uh, I saw a I saw something prophetic take place, where the Lord says today is a prophetic sign that we are recovering what we have what we had lost, and so we we regain the hour. Uh, that we normally lose uh, six months ago. So that's a that, that's a prophetic sign. Even to you who don't live uh, uh, under the daylight savings time, today is a very special day because today is a sign of restoration. And I and I believe uh, that God is restoring time. That uh, matter of fact, the scripture says that uh, that we, that God redeems our time. Now we can't redeem time ourselves, but that is an act of God. And to redeem means to purchase or to buy back. And so God is giving us, uh, uh this, this day and he's giving us this prophetic sign. All right. God bless you. So here's the, here's the word for the month of November, 2017. And the title of this word is your cry is opening the heavens over you. Your cry. Um, many of many of you are are in a season where you have gone through distress and anxiety, and you've lost things. Uh, even as we talk about the the recovering of time, many of you have lost. You've suffered great loss, and the Lord says that that your cry, which is actually a petition for help. It is it's, it's just a crying out to the Lord for help, for assistance, for intervention. And the Lord says that I am listening to your cries, that I am seated in the heavens and I am listening to your cries. The Lord says, I am listening from my throne in heaven. And when you cry unto me, you're not crying to a God who is insensitive, but you're crying to a father who is seated on the thrones of heaven and who is sovereign over the affairs of man. Even your affairs, says the Lord. And the Lord says, as you, as you have cried out to me, the Lord says, I have, I am touching your eyes. This is, this is how the Lord is opening the heavens to help us. The Lord says that I am opening your eyes. Okay. And I am giving you <clears throat> new vision and I'm giving you new ways to see for many of you are dealing with, you're dealing with, uh, seasonal problems that keep returning and you keep responding in the same way. But the Lord says, now I am opening your eyes and I'm giving you new vision and I'm giving you new ways to see. Many of you have been going around the same circle, the same mountains like the children of Israel, and you keep going around the same mountains because you keep dealing with your with your problems and your issues, even the people in your life, you keep dealing with them the same way. But the Lord says, I am causing you uh, to see beyond the limitations of your circumstances. And I am causing you to see the possibilities of how things are coming together for you. For the heavens are opened over you. And that means that I am causing you to see in new ways so that you will begin to respond in new ways. 
the Lord says that, that your cry is actually accelerating you into the fullness of your season. So do not be silent in this month. The things that are breaking your heart, the things that are hurting you, the Lord says, do not be silent, but cry. For I, for your cries are actually accelerating the fullness of your season. As you, as you cry out to me for help, that I'm actually bringing you to the end of your seasons. And the Lord says, I am sending my angels to help you uh, harvest what you have sown. And then the Lord told me to, uh, to, to give you this word from Psalms 126, verse 5. You who have sown in tears shall reap in joy. Amen. God bless you. And we bless your month. And we just decree and declare, Lord, that this word is opening a path and that it's opening new possibilities unto us. And it's causing us to see in new ways. So we thank you for speaking to us. We thank you for giving us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to his people. And we thank you for giving us faith to activate this prophetic word. And by this prophetic word, seeds are being sown for the future. And we are being built up in hope and in encouragement. And we give you praise and glory in Yahshua's name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you.